Yo, what's up? Bringing you that on the show 21. So we actually got a nice content drop today. A lot of nice cards. Let's start off with the new headliner. And that's obviously in the pack store. Set 11, Greg Maddox has 105 stamina, 92 hit per nine, 89k per nine, 92 walk per nine. Really nice per nines right there. And then has an 89 sinker, 90 cutter, 79 circle change, 84 slider, 74 curveball. Also a very solid pitch repertoire. I think the best thing about this card though is that control. Look at the control for each one of his pitches. Almost all of them at 90. If you're using pinpoint, you're going to be dotting with him. And that's that's pretty important, you know, I would say. So he's going to be, I think, a nasty card. You know, 66 to 72K just off the jump. So I kind of expect him to, you know, kind of stay around that range. And I guess overall, you know, we'll see how that fluctuates. But this card for sure looks really nice and could be really good in like Hall of Fame and Legend difficulty. So that's the first card we got. Now there was a brand new Battle Royale program that dropped also. And we actually got some nice cards in here too. So let's start off with just the program itself. Still the same 27 days. You got to get 100 points. And if you win a BR game each time, that gives you one. A 12 and 0 gives you 20. And then nine wins gets you 10. Then 10 home runs in a single run gets you seven. Another seven for 40 hits in a single run. And 15 strikeouts gives you another seven. And then the rest is pretty much with the new cards, some player missions, and they all give you five. So, you know, I guess if you if you get lucky to draft these, then it's gonna help with that. But the silver cards, the new ones that were just added, we have a 79 Chris Davis. Actually, his hitting attributes for a silver card aren't really that bad. You know, pretty mid-tier, but they're not bad. And then you have Matt Joyce. Kind of expected a little bit more power, I guess. But, you know, good contact versus righties. I think that's about it with this card. You have Vida Blue, which I think could be a very solid bullpen arm, especially for BR. And he has 84 hit per nine, 77 K per nine. And then Tyler Flowers, another card, kind of okay. You know, good contact numbers at 74 and 76. Kind of low end on the power. Nothing great, but, you know, maybe maybe he's solid for BR. Well, if he has a glitchy swing, then he'll be all right. And then the gold cards, the new ones, we got Harmon Killebrew, the killer. This card always hits tanks. You know, definitely a dub of a card right here for a gold. 97 contact versus lefties, 91 versus righties, 101 power versus lefties. So this card, and BR especially, will be pretty nasty. Now we got Jonathan VR has good contact numbers, 79 and 82. Okay power numbers at 72 and 66. Silver tier defense, 66 speed. I actually like his swing in previous years. So I think he's a card that kind of plays above the attributes. Alex Colome, 86 hit per nine, 91 K per nine, 72 walk per nine. Not bad for a gold card. Has a fastball, cutter, curveball, and changeup. And then Chris Davis, you know, this card could be kind of a dub. For Battle Royale, 109 power versus righties, 95 versus lefties, definitely not bad. Obviously, he has low speed and common tier defense, but those are okay right there. You get stubs and, you know, some balling as a habit packs along the way, which is pretty nice. And then at 90 points, a 95 Reggie Jackson, he has 90 contact versus righties, 83 versus lefties, 123 power versus righties, and 97 versus lefties, 65 vision, really solid card right here. Bronze tier defense, 60 speed, but I think this is a dub. You know, if you grind out the program, then you definitely, I mean, it's a free card you can get if you just grind out the program. That's that's pretty much it, right? But going on to the flawless cards, Al Lider, I will say this might be the cleanest card art we've seen so far. That baby blue, I like it. That, that card art is super clean, but this card, also a dub. 113 stamina, 118 hit per nine. 94 K per nine, 73 walk per nine, has a 92 sinker, 90 cutter, 76 curve, 87 slider, and a 93 fastball. Right now, how the hell did people already get him? <laughs> Yo, that's nuts. People already got 12 and 0, but like this card probably will be a 300 plus K card for a while. You know, this card definitely looks like it has that status, you know, kind of legit, but obviously as, as more people level up the program, then he will go down. But this card... Looks like it could be a problem for sure. No hitter, milestone card. I believe that's what it would be. Definitely a nice looking card. And then we got a 96 Trevor Story. Silver Slugger has 92 contact versus righties, 106 versus lefties, 100 power versus righties, 
in 90 versus lefty 61 vision really solid hitting card right here with diamond tier defense and 87 speed so these br flawless cards definitely not bad definitely not bad you know i think they're both pretty good i wonder if these go up in price nah these did not go up in price but these cards i think they're pretty solid again you know if you grind out this program you got 27 days then you can you can easily get these cards right you know in 27 days i think that's what it's like three four wins a day in br not really that bad probably less than that too and obviously if you do some of the missions or get on a good run makes it a little bit easier but those br cards definitely a dub and that's it with like the new content but they did kind of drop a small little bombshell right here so we do have the updated schedule and we already knew on the 28th we were getting team affinity season two so there's three new legends that are going to be announced with that the first one we already know and that's brandon webb from the diving backs you know that cy young year for him there's two other ones that haven't been announced yet but also on the 28th we have the roster update so upgrades downgrades you know big stuff right there but the biggest thing a new collection already with legends and flashbacks that that just caught my eye i was like what <laughs> already a new collection reward so i don't i don't know how they're gonna play this out you know if, if it's like the big collection reward or if it's a collection for like each card type but that is definitely really big and then we got more content too a club 42 event new tops now and set 12 legend but the the collection the collection already that could be big so basically for this and it kind of you know it's definitely something we knew was coming but for the for it to come already is kind of surprising but with this you know what they do is you pretty much have to collect you know multiple cards so milestone cards you probably would have to collect there's not that many i would say you would have to collect like five of these to be honest you know somewhere around that mark but you would have to collect like five milestone cards like five of these second hero cards for monthly awards you would probably have to collect like 10 of them tops now like 10 of them signature series maybe just one of them because there's not that many but we're gonna have to start collecting these we're gonna have to start collecting these and again i don't know if it's like the ultimate collection where we're gonna get a 90 99 overall card or if they're gonna do like you know collect 10 rookie series cards and we get a you know a high rated rookie card that would be nice you know for each little tier we collect a certain amount and get another card that would be really nice so we'll have to see what they really do just the fact that they're already announcing a collection reward let me see what his price is actually he, he might go up a little bit but yeah just the fact that they're already announcing a collection reward and we're kind of like still early on in the game you know only maybe like a month it's been a month right <laughs> a month and a half something like that just the fact that you know we're, we're getting to this point already they might have multiple collections i feel like you know or multiple tiers you know like collect this many flashbacks and legends you get this and then collect this many you get this so they could do something like that but you definitely want to have you know a good amount of these cards just hold on to them see how it plays out for friday but friday is definitely going to be a very very big drop like if they just did team affinity season two that would have been a big drop but now that there's a collection also you know we'll have to we'll have to figure out how we're going to approach that you know we'll definitely have to figure out how we're going to do that but you know still very good content update today we got a lot of good cards just from you know the br program and then, you know, the headliner that just dropped. But let me know what you guys think about everything today. And until the next one, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.